Hey everyone, I'm from Microscopic Gaming Scientist here. What's up? Hope you're doing well. So guys, in this video, I'm going to be saying about house fire, the most common causes of house fire. A house can easily catch fire from the misuse of appliances and heating equipment to smoking in bedrooms. In summer, temperatures go up very high and to get teamed up with dry climate, the conditions that are ideal for fires to break out. Common causes of house fire, cooking, equi cooking equipment. Pots and pans can overheat and cause fire very easily if a person cooking gets distracted or leaves cooking unattended. Heating Keep portable heaters 1 meter away from anything that could easily catch fire such as furniture, curtains, laundry, clothes and even yourself. If you have a furnace just check it frequently. Smoking in bedrooms Bedrooms are best to be kept out of the limits for smoking. A cigarette that is not put out properly can cause flames. It could burst into flames if it comes in contact with flammable materials. So guys, here's a fact for you. Did you know that fires started in bedroom or lung make up to 73% of all house fatalities? Electrical equipment or faulty wiring. An electrical appliance such as toaster can start fire if it has a frayed cord or if it is faulty. A power point that is overloaded with double adapter plugs can cause fire from an overuse of electricity. Homes with an inadequate wiring can cause fires from electrical hazards. Some signs to see if you have a bad wiring are lights dim if you use another appliance. For an appliance to work, you have to disconnect another. Fuses blow or trip the circuit frequently. So next one, candles and curious children. Candles look small and pretty, but if, but if left at unattended, they can cause room to easily burst into flames. So keep candles away from items such as books and tissues. Children can cause a fire out of curiosity to see what would happen if they set fire to an object. Keep any matches or lighters out of reach of children. So, so next one is flammable liquids. If you have any flammable liquids in the home or garage such as petrol, kerosene or methylated spirits, keep them away from heat sources and check the labels before storing. Be careful when using these liquids. So guys, now I'm going to be saying you how to make a soda acid fire extinguisher to solve all these problems. So guys, all you need is a thread, a wash bottle, a ignition tube, a dilute sulfuric acid and sodium hydrogen carbonate and nozzle. So guys, take 20 ml of sodium hydrogen carbonate and NaHCO3 solution in a wash bottle. Suspend an ignition tube containing dilute sulfuric acid in the wash bottle. Close the mouth of the wash bottle. Fill the wash bottle so that the acid from the ignition tube mixes with the sodium hydrogen carbonate solution below. You will notice a discharge coming out of the nozzle. So direct this discharge on a burning candle. So see what happens. So guys, the actual chemical reaction that is happening here is sulfuric acid reacts with sodium hydrogen carbonate to form sodium sulfate, carbon dioxide and water molecule. So guys, uh, make sure you, you do this and see what happens. So guys, at last but not the least, hope you'll stay well. Okay, bye. Bye guys, Let meet, meet you in the next video. So guys, if you do like this video, share, share this to your family and friends to keep them safe. And subscribe to my channel and like this video. Okay, bye guys. Let's meet in the next video. Okay, bye.